I was in Los Angeles for a former job that I had as the head of global branding and communications um, for a wonderful company. And I was opening a new office in Los Angeles doing their my press. And my publicist at the time said, we can't send iPhone pictures anymore. Go get your makeup done at this amazing place called Washington. And I walked in and I, I can't even you know, do it justice. It was love at first sight. It was like rainbows and butterflies for me. And I said, I, I had never seen, and I've traveled the world, a place like Blushington, where you could walk into this beautiful environment without feeling intimidated. Because we all know what it's like to walk into a place that feels fancy or is fancy and to feel uncomfortable. I, I shy away from that experience and the Blushington experience is the antithesis of that. It's about luxury, but it's about accessibility. And wow, did I feel amazing walking out of my first Blushington experience. And the very next day I was at a breakfast speaking with a young woman raving about Blushington and lo and behold, it was Blushington's PR firm. And I said, can I please meet um, the founders of Blushington? She connected us that day and the rest is history. That is such a great, great story. Uh, Thank you. As, as you think about uh, where you're going now, uh, obviously you, you've got these great plans for franchising and rolling out nationally. Give us a bit of a, a status update. Uh, I think you've got one, at least one franchise sold now yes. uh, and, and a bunch in the pipeline. Tell us a little bit about the status quo. What's going on today? Absolutely. So we launched our franchise sales in Q1 of this year. 